So today I'm talking about a Dodge Chrysler or Jeep P0128 code, what it is and how you go about fixing it. And so what is a P0128 code? Well, it's a thermostat rationality. And some scan tools will give you a coolant thermostat, coolant temperature below thermostat regulating temperature. And so what does this mean? Well, the onboard computer is seeing that the engine's not operating within a range that it's supposed to be operating in. And so there's a problem with the engine temperature. Very likely it's overheating. And so it's going to have to be troubleshooting a why. And so what are some possible causes? Well, it could be low on coolant. There could be air in the coolant system. Could be a bad thermostat. And it's also possible that the vehicle needs a software update. Although that's not very common, that does happen once in a while. And so if you do check everything else and you can't solve this problem, then you may need a software update. And so the first thing to go and check when you get this code is go check your coolant level. Be sure that it's good, that it's not low or anything like this. If it is low, be sure to add some in because low coolant is going to cause issues. If you do have low coolant for some reason, be sure to check for any leaks. Also keep in mind that there very likely is a bleed procedure to get the air out of the coolant system. For example, here's a 3.6 liter engine. Here's a thermostat housing. And right here at the top of the thermostat is a bleeder screw. And you basically loosen up this bleeder screw. And when you're adding the coolant in, the air is going to come out and escape through this bleeder screw. And then you tighten it down. And that's the basics of how you bleed the air out of the coolant system. But be sure to check your specific dodge, year, make, things like this to know exactly what's going on and how to get any air pockets out of the system. And air pockets in the coolant system can cause a P0128 code. If there is any air inside the system, then it can throw things off. So if you do have low coolant, be sure to bleed the air out properly. And so the most common cause of a P0128 code is going to be that it just has a bad thermostat and it just needs to be replaced. It's going to vary a little bit exactly how you remove it and take it apart and exactly where it's at and things like that. But it'll be on the front of the engine somewhere. There'll be a hose going to the radiator on it. And they're usually pretty easy to replace. There might be components in the way or something like that that has to be removed. But usually they'll just have like two bolts and you just take them off and just reattach a new one. The thermostat could come by itself and it can be bought separately from this little housing that quite commonly is inside these Chrysler Dodges and Jeeps. But if you do have one of these plastic housings, then it's a good idea just to buy the whole thing because these plastic housings quite commonly can leak and things like that. But you can buy them separately if you want to. But if you do buy one, I would recommend buying the whole thing. And like I said, they're usually fairly simple to replace, but there might be other components in the way. And if there is, that might make the job a little more difficult. Again, if you do swap one of these out, you'll need to bleed the system when you add it in coolant. So be sure to look up the bleed procedure for your particular Dodge, Chrysler, or Jeep to be sure you get all the air out of the system if you do replace that thermostat. And so that's basically it. I just wanted to give a basic overview of how you go about fixing a P0128 code with the Dodge, Chrysler, or Jeep vehicle. If you have anything to add, please comment down below. If you have any questions, ask me. I'll try to answer them. If this video helps you. Please click like. Please click subscribe. And have a good day.